Hello and welcome back to the course on MetaTrader 4. It's not a coincidence that today's tutorial is called Secret Hack because I will actually share with you something that not many Forex traders know and not many Forex traders actually use in their trading. All right, so let's have a look at what we've learned so far. We've learned that uh, we can change our chart appearance and we can also save templates. So once we have a certain type or certain representation of a chart that we really like, we can save, we can go ahead and right click and go to templates and we can save a template. And then once it's saved, we can load it onto new charts. So basically if I open up a new chart, I can right click and I can simply load a template that I have saved before. So that's great. But what you can see that is that every time I open a new chart, it will always open in this uh, format. It'll always be black with green in the background. It will always have this grid. It will always not have um, this chart shift enabled. It will always have the uh, chart auto scroll enabled. So every single time it's always the same. And if you want to apply a template, you have to right click and you have to load a template. So for me personally, I, <laughs> you already know that I don't really like this grid. Uh, it's it's distracting to me and it makes my charts look clutter. So every single time I would have to disable the grid at the least, right? So every single time I would have to disable the grid or moreover, I would have to go ahead and load a template. Well, this is the hack. If you have a preferred template or a preferred representation of your chart, then there is a way in MetaTrader 4 to save this uh, representation as the default template, as a template that will always come up when you open up a chart. And let's do that, Let, uh, let's uh, have a look how it's done and then you'll be able to apply it in your own trading. I'm actually pretty excited about this. So let's say we want to use this template as our default template. So what we need to do is we need to right click this uh, chart, go to templates, save template, and just as we did before, we will create a template, but the only difference is that this time we will give it a spe special name and the special name will be default. So if you call it default starting with a capital D, uh, you'll see that this template, it isn't uh, present here and that's why not many traders know about it that you can actually create the default template and you create the default template, you click save and now whenever I open a new chart, you'll see that it actually automatically opens in this template. So let's open up another one. You'll see that it's opening over here because that's the one I saved. So I can go right click here and uh, template, save template. I can override this deep default template. Uh, there we go, save on top of it. And now when I open a chart, it'll be opening right over here as well. And it'll be in the right color scheme. See, so there we go. And once you, let's say you get tired of this default template or you want to make some modifications to this default template, you can always go ahead and um, take a new chart, take a new template and save it as a default. So let's go uh, template, save as template. Um, wait, that wasn't save. So template, save template, uh, default, save. There we go. And so now when I open another template, uh, another chart, it will always be in this format. And personally, I think this is a great hack to MetaTrader 4 because it really allows you to personalize the platform. So from now on, uh, whatever chart I open, so there's full screen mode, whatever chart I open, it will always be in this format. It will always have uh, bars, it will always be this color scheme, it will always be just the way I like it. And that way, uh, you kind of distance yourself from that black and green, which is the standard, and you no longer feel like you are using MetaTrader 4 just as a general user, just like everybody else. You're actually using MetaTrader 4 the way you want to use it. And that that's, uh, I think that's a great advantage. That's a great thing to have. So there we go. That's how you create a default template and that's how you use it to advantage. Uh, I highly recommend for you to give it a go, at least give it a go and see how that changes your experience with MetaTrader 4. And until next time, happy trading.